Good morning. Good morning. It's dinner time because no. I am fresh and clean and ready to go to dinner. Happy sea day. <laughs> It is a sea day. It's breakfast. Um, yes, and we're intending to do breakfast in the dining room. Mm -hmm. Now, celebrity is one of those lines that has a no ball caps at any time policy. In the dining room. That's true. <laughs> Not any time. You gotta be more specific, yeah. don't you? So I'm fresh and clean <laughs> for breakfast. Yeah. Um, we're gonna start off there. You've made a whole list of I stuff did. to do. All right, so we're gonna see how much of that we get to do. We won't tell you what the list is because <laughs> you'll never know. I think we'll get to do it all. All right. Actually, yeah. Well, let's roll it out, get some food, some all coffee. Right. Yes. All right. Oh, let's jump up to deck four. This is the quietest I've ever seen the martini bar. What <laughs> in the world? Well, they've arted up the rendezvous. Must be gonna sell some paintings or prints. Welcome back to Trellis Restaurant. So there he is. Morning. The first day. Morning. Good morning. I got some prune juice. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> to the menu. Here's page two of the menu. Some interesting looking stuff. I believe I'll have it all. We came around with a whole pastry tray. I got a chocolate croissant and a blueberry danish. D went with the chocolate croissant as it looks well. Delicious. So there's something about when they bring it around and you can see what they look like yeah. when they're in your face, you're more tempted because if they're just on the menu, I don't order them. Right, I was not going to order a pastry, but then this big basket came by. Dang you. They're so shiny. They are pretty nice. shoes, no hats, and no tank tops. Yeah, there's a few rules on this bad boy. Thank you. Now we get a little pamphlet. Oh, we got some, some beverages. Oh, we're being seated here in the dining room. Looks like they have a film presentation they're gonna show us. There's a little pamphlet we got, and they gave everybody a galley tour number, which we got galley tour number one. <laughs> Get to learn like how many pounds of things that they use. And they've also got a lot of uh, information about how to do their dining packages and things like that. Advertising. <laughs> Get a sneak peek at what might be to come. Unless this is a digital galley tour, and no, I'm sure it's. I think it's a physical galley tour as well. Oh yeah, that's true. That's right. They wouldn't say you can't have your flip flops to sit in here and watch a movie. <laughs> You're very smart. I try. And side note, this is open to everybody. This yeah. is morning, not like a special thing. So anybody can do this. I just want to introduce uh, to you the head of the farm, the one who assured that uh, uh, every day uh, around the sheep will uh, be provided a 10 out of 10 side session. Yeah. Well, thank you all for spending some time with us today. Uh, we're going to take you through the galleys group by group. Um, and then while, while they're going through the galleys, we're going to do a little Q&A here today uh, with myself and Marius and uh, we'll just, uh, there's no, there, there's no questions, we'll just start singing. Yeah. <laughs> now, step one is to head down the escalator to the galley, watching your head at all times, of course. <laughs> They put us in front of the escargot buckets and the French onion soup uh, <laughs> things. There we go. They got all their dishes locked down so that when the waves come, nothing's going to fall over. <laughs> this is a big galley. Okay. Freshly made bread. Yes. Oh, I lost my view of the bread. There it is. Sneak a peek. Don't lose the bread. That's important. Gotta get all that bread footage. They've got like some breadier some kind of products back here. I guess that's breads. Uh, this is the Lumine section for sweet guests. Ooh, is that croutons? Crackers? We have a salad prep station. We won't get much in the way of narration, so I'll be narrating this tour myself. <laughs> Ooh, it's warm on this side. 
Well, they're making good. And they send me any snacks? Oh, cheesecakes, cakes. What's down here? All sweet. Oh. All gelatin, everything. The dinner service for me in cheesecakes, we keep fun and we get a door, we can open automatically. Oh, some strawberries and random stuff happening down there. But I think this might be the end of the tour or we're going to do a turnaround here. Oh, they make a one-way loop, yeah, so you don't run into each other. That's cool, they've got digital inventory of all the dishes. They scan them out so that way they know what they need. Okay, now we're going to turn and wander this way. Oh, ice cream! Yes, hand washing. Everything is so shiny. Uh, this is the dirty dish processing. And they usually take all the organic stuff, grind it up, and feed it to the fish. Oh, this is the Italian scallion. Oh, for Tuscan, I guess. Tuscan scally. Yeah, one of the big, massive complex of kitchens down here. We're in Tuscan. Oh, hey, welcome to Tuscan. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. They're giving us opportunities to book specialty dining. Tuscan, sushi on five. Smart, y'all. Yeah, they're smart. The udon. We have a pork rabbit. And the lobster And the lobster Well, this might be a chef's table sales area. <laughs> and or photo op with giant spoons. All right, out we go. Well, that was cool and very smart of them. Oh, no, well, the menu was there. Yeah, that's Tuscan we just came out of. So it was about a 30 minute experience. Let's head up stalls. Alright, so in the Constellation Lounge, they are doing the indoor archery. Welcome to the outside. We came up the panoramic elevators instead of the front elevators. Oh, there's a little wind out here. But hey, we'll get a little sunshine before our indoor archery. <laughs> Pools are open, everything is a hopping. Welcome back to the inside. <laughs> There's the old inflatable archery dealy do. Look at her go. I got a feeling this thing will be inflated in no time. Wow, it actually does go up really fast. Can we get one of these? Yeah, we need one of these for the yard. Shoot. Whoa. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bam, there it is. Oh yeah, it's the one that has those little air things that blows the little ball, the floaty balls up there and you just shoot them down. I need my celebrity cruises. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get one of these celebrity cruises <laughs> branded ones. We'll see if this one fits in the suitcase maybe. I don't know. You don't think they'll let us have it? Ah. Oh, they use under the seats for storage. He just popped one of those cushions up and they have the arrows and everything in there. That is clever. You have to move everything every <laughs> no, time. you just have to move people, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got the eye protection, the arm protection, the that's probably about all the protection you need for these things. Whoop, there's the protection. Ooh, we just put the magic balls on the machine. We are almost ready. Mark is taking sign up. You just jump in line and put your name on a piece of paper. All right, archery with D. Coming soon. She's like the fifth or sixth person to go. Yeah, so. we'll see. Jay should do it. What? Well, now there's like 100 people already yeah, signed actually, up. That's so, uh, whoops. It's like a volunteer group. I yeah. like that. Yeah. A lot of volunteers. Volunteering. <laughs> so you'll be asked to ask a, a, a wear an arm guard if you don't have a long sleeve on, which most of you don't because it's about 30 degrees outside. If you don't have any protective eyewear, like if you're not wearing your own glasses, we will ask you to wear straight from the land, look at that fashion statement, our very own fashionable eyewear protective, of course. The arrow will go, will help you connect the arrow. It goes uh, in between the finger holes. There is a one finger hold and two finger hold. One finger goes at the top, two fingers go at the bottom. These are just the tips of your fingers. These are just the tips of your fingers. Don't grip it with your whole hand. You'll find it very difficult to let go. Don't do that. And when you're ready, in three, two, one, release. There we go, solid. Great. 
is worth five points at the moment. Mm. Five is the top score. Red's Whoa, a little smaller. Oh my gosh. Yeah, red's Whoa, a little smaller, so it's worth five points. The other ones are worth two points apiece. He's a Toronto champion. Uh, Toronto champion. Woo! Oh my goodness, that was close. Any of them right now will put you in the lead. Oh. Oh, yeah, look, one, look, one. Don't hit one. He said earlier Juan's worth I 10 points. That, were worth 10 that was points. a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this could shoot you into the lead, Stan. Oh, unlucky. All right, let's she's getting up. all set up for left-handed mode. One at a time, guys, okay? One at a time. Okay. Little bit girl. more power. Oh, right. she closed Little though. That's better. Look, yes, that is way better. Well done. All right, okay. down to the last competitor. They've had about four people get five points all together. Oh, so close. I'll pay our four finalists. Listen, I'm going to give each of you three more arrows each, all right? Yeah, and we got to watch the struggle of deflating and putting away the oh, archery you. thing. <laughs> that fun. Yeah, if they come back and watch this, they'll appreciate this footage later. They'll be like, why did you include this part? <laughs> well, that was fun. Those yeah. bibbly bobbly little balls are hard to hit. <laughs> they are. Anyway, we're going to hang out here in the Constellation Lounge. They are getting ready to have a beginner's Spanish class. Yeah. So we figured we'll hang out for that because it's kind of cool. It's unique. Yeah. Podemos aprender un poquito de español. It will be fantastic. It. I will love it. Juan will be like, oh. <laughs> no, I'm rusty. I'm out of practice. Like, Eso. <laughs> like, look at that. Yeah, it's kind of like, like a, hey, Eso. look at there kind of a thing. We know. Keep a little bit. It's been, um, it's been a long time since we've been to Mexico. Yeah. Duolingo is your friend, though. If you guys do want to learn a language, not sponsored. No, we're not sponsored by Duolingo, no. But it's free. It's, it's an really app. Good, you can yeah. learn languages. You can learn Klingon. Exactly. And, so. uh, there's what, the Game of Thrones? Oh, that's like right. Valerian? Yeah. I may, I may have made that up. I think it's right. Hi, Valerian. <laughs> anyway, bye, Valerian. So in case you are fluent in the language, you may know what I'm going to be saying. But if you have no idea about Spanish, then this class will be very useful for you in every country. We have some differences, and I will be teaching you the way that we speak in Mexico. Que tal? Now, the word que means what. Mm -hmm. But the sentence translates to how is it going. In English, you have bye and goodbye. But in Spanish, there's only one way to say it, and it is adios. That's why in English, you have three words. How are you? But in Spanish, we only have two. Because in the verb, the person is implicit. Most of the adjectives in Spanish need to be genderized. Perdido is masculine. Ooh, we've Perdida is lost feminine. and thirsty. There we go. Now, the other name is sediento. If you're lost and thirsty, you can say necesito una cerveza. <laughs> we don't use good morning, good afternoon, and good evening the same as in English. In fact, that is because the rhythm of our days. It's just different. The word favor means favor. So the logic behind it is that you are asking things as a favor. The verb sentir to means feel. to feel. Mm -hmm. So what, what you really are saying is, I feel you, I cause you suffering. What was that? Uh -huh. You would just say, <laughs> como? The sound is rr, carro. But it's in the middle of the word. So for that, you would, say, you would spell it C A R R. I just go. So the double R is the big, in the middle of the word will give you that same sound as a single R at the beginning of it. So with two R's in scar, with one R is expensive. So I got the message. I got what you're saying. Entiendo. ¿Qué significa eso? ¿Cuánto means how much? All right, we are all Spanished up and ready for some lunch. Actually, now they're doing uh, officers versus guests beanbag toss on the pool deck. Ooh. Oh, sounds like they're done. I guess the guests won. Hey! Welcome to Ocean View Cafe. Let's see what we can find around the world. 
We'll start here with the greenery. Look at all these tiny tongs, makes it hard to grab your stuff. Look at all this greenery goodness. I got yellow and purple and green and orange. Wow. We just sit here and have our lunch and bask in all the basking. Mm. Oh, I think that salad was sufficient. Now it's time to wander. Still very quiet along the foyer here. So we'll jump up to the pool deck. They had deal or no deal earlier, but they're doing something called musical bingo with the DJ on the pool deck. Well, there is the DJ area. Let's see if we can find somewhere that's not too much in the direct sunlight out here. Ha! I guess they had a little rain toss today. There's the uh, bean bags. Well, we have found some refuge over here in the smoking section, actually, on these cute little couches, and we'll chill out. I think we got about 15 or 20 minutes till this starts. Ready for the game. Dee has gone off to get us a bingo card. So you have to be over the age of 21 to play the bingo. Interesting. There is our bingo card. All right, I'm pretty sure I recognize most all of these songs, so we should be in, in, in business. Oh, he said we're going for an X, so we only need the two diagonal lines for this one. So we've given another couple of minutes for people to gather cards, but this is free to play, so fun. You it off. It's not like big movie, but we do we have oh we have it but it does not help us make the x all right for those that don't know <laughs> oh the twist is also in the wrong spot i'm marking them off even though i don't really need them <laughs> oh we got another one that was inside of our x nice Oh, the, the sing-along was weak. <laughs> yeah, we are not. We are not doing well here. Uh, man, we just got rickrolled. Uh-oh, he's verifying somebody's bingo. I don't know where he is, but somebody might have taken it. Ooh, well, we were four away. It is time to head back to the cabin for a little bit. Cool in here. Whew. Feels nice. Isn't it Henry? That's not Henry. Ugh. Hello. Yo, we are still fresh and clean. How about that? It's our evening update. Yeah, I um, changed my shorts into pants because that's a thing. I'm dressed for dinner. That's true. Uh, but first of all, we got an invite, I believe it's to one of the loyalty, like a captain's toast, is that what they called it? Captain's cocktail party toast, something Some. like that, yeah. So because of loyalty and mm -hmm. all of that, so we're going to go check that out in the constellation. We've never done that before. I know, and yeah. then go to dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then there's a show, <laughs> and there's stuff. There's some fun stuff tonight, yeah, we're excited. Right. Let's get out of here. All right. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to Constellation. Oh gosh, we got appetizers happening. Music is jamming. And they've got a little drink menu here on the table so we can see what's offered. And we can swear with me. <laughs> yeah, so we got a little tomato mozzarella olive dealy and that's some kind of meat and something on some bread. You know, I, I didn't ask a lot of questions. We just took stuff. <laughs> Oh, we didn't realize the menu has two sides. We're just sitting here looking at each other's drinks going, where did yours come from? So you have this one, and then you have this one. Okay. Yeah, so they had some officers and the cruise director lined up here at the door to greet everyone. Nice. brought around shrimp cocktails and little glasses, chicken lollipops. Yeah, I don't know why they scheduled these parties right before dinner. All right, fried shrimp just showed up. Uh, appetizer number 900 has arrived. We have an arancini, fried rice bowl type of deal. Oh, dessert has arrived, okay. I mean, they are playing crooner tunes. I'm feeling real pinkies up with all these hors d'oeuvres in here. 
Oh, we've got the captain here. We've got the cruise director. I think they're getting ready to make a few announcements. We won't really be able to see the stage, but I'll just kind of we'll make do. <laughs> Guys, don't look at how many desserts I got. Um, she made a strawberry. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> We're going to get a performance. All right, let's see how much we can see. Celebrity knows how to party. They really do. So, lots of different varieties of drinks that you can have, but I do like that they tell you that's what you have and nothing else. Yeah, so you're not specials. making all these extra drinks and everybody can have some. The hors d'oeuvres were wonderful and the entertainment was fantastic. Oh, man. That was awesome. <laughs> that's us. Okay. That's us. Okay. Ooh, martini bar is jumping now. Yeah, we stopped by Rendezvous briefly, and now we are in line at the trellis. And we got our same table as usual. Fun. Right, now, this is the page we've looked at a hundred times, so, you know, we'll just do that quickly. And the good page. Okay. All right. What the heck do I want? Wow. Well, our selection of bread tonight includes a black olive roll down there, and we have avocado spread, butter, and horseradish. arrived there is the drinky page and here is the eaty page like that you eat yes dark and swanky in here I like rendezvous at night well yeah it's a good place to take a nap Got some tunes happening here in the foyer. Nice. Coming into the theater now for Broken Strings, which is our second production show. So we should be able to record this, hopefully, based on our success from the last show. Look at that set, it's super cute. I like the light. Oh uh, yeah. So I'm not sure the concept of this show. None of the strings look broken yet. Maybe they will break over the series of the show or something like that. I think you know. it's about like Ooh. lost love and heartbreak and stuff like that, like songs like that. Oh, oh. we'll see. <laughs> you may use cameras and video during this show. Oh yeah. And we encourage you to use social media to share your experience of our performances across the wider network. <laughs>
of this karaoke type event. We were gonna stay in the forward lounge, but they did ask everyone to leave so that they could clean it and turn it over. Uh, for now, they've got some smooth tunes happening in here. Seventy-six songs here. Whoosh! There's page two. Oh, not bad. We've seen a lot more, um, you know, limited versions of this band yeah. karaoke. D has signed up for a song. I think you're second. I think so. Because okay. we're gonna try to sneak up to Liars Club, which yeah. is very soon to the start of this. Oh, but know. we'll see if we can get semi-decent seats to Liars Club. I think we'll be alright because you can sit in the balcony, literally, and just shoot at this. No, don't shoot the stage. Oh gosh, you no. Know. Film the there you go. <laughs> yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> Don't you? Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. She chose a song that she thinks is challenging, <laughs> but I think she will do fantastic. Her name is Dee. <laughs> show is already in progress, but we will see. Uh, they're introducing the panelists. So we've got Alfie from the other guys, Dave and oh, Captain Giannis. I can't help but notice you look a little different. Have you had your hair oh, cut? Oh dear. Yes, is it? I thought so. It looks very good. <laughs> We're going to put a word on the screen and then one at a time they'll give you their definition of that word. It'll just be up to you to work out who's telling the truth. So, let's get started. Our first Dramatic pause. There's Sonia! So I'd get on the school bus, sit behind the bus driver because I didn't have any friends, and um, I would say this phrase, I'd go, If my mummy was a... I was seven, so I sounded like that. Um, if my mummy was a lioness and my daddy was a lion, I'd be a cop! 
And so I go on and on, practicing all these, and the bus driver was getting so, so annoyed, seeing him turn around like <laughs> And eventually he turned around and went, Yeah, well what would you do if your mum was a drunk and your dad was a bum? And honestly, at seven years old, my response to him was, I'd be a bus driver! <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, safe to say I didn't stay on the bus for long. Uh, he kicked me off and left me stranded on the street. But I always remember that bus going past me, and uh, there was a big red stripe on the side, and on it it said this word, Pisonia. So it is, in fact, a UK bus company. And when I was a kid growing up, me and my grandfather, we used to play a lot of Scrabble. And this word came up in Scrabble. My grandfather put it down, and I said, Grandfather, that's not a real word. And he said, of course it is. He said, this word, he said, it's, uh, he said it happens to a, a lot of people in life. He said, it happens when they laugh too hard. <laughs> Like some of you are doing now. And you can't control it. Sometimes you laugh so hard that a little bit of pee comes out. And you, uh, well, you piss on it yourself. It was exactly four o'clock in the afternoon. But when he noticed some feathers on the ground, he looked up and he noticed a big plant. Insects used to go to eat, uh, you know, to, to eat uh, the seeds. They got stuck in the mucus, then the birds was, were coming to eat the insects. They got stuck at the hooks and they were dying. It is a bird catching uh, plant in uh, the jungles of Indonesia, of Asia. Uh, true story. <laughs> We have come back to the cabin to find some towel lugs because it's like a port day tomorrow and our paper. And we've got the milk chocolates on the pillow again. You know what happened to the dark chocolates I used to give? No, it's good. <laughs> good, good night. night. <laughs> we are back in the cabin. Mm -hmm. All right, highlights of the night. We can't talk about everything. No. Of the whole, let's talk about everything but not. What do you want to talk about? party was amazing. Yes. We touched on that a little bit. Stinking entertainment Dinner was stuff. really good. My fish was delicious. Mm -hmm. My lamb was overcooked to poo-poo, yeah. but besides Mine that, was good. it was pretty good. Um, the, show, mm. the show was so good. Yeah. Loved the concept, the singing, the dancing, all of it. The songs were a little more, I mean, not super modern, yeah. but, but more modern. Yeah, than the I really show. enjoyed this show. Yeah conceptually and whatever yeah more than the and it had one, some so. story too really really good yeah, my favorite show so far then we did it was called headliner with the band so it's mm. like mm, karaoke with the band basically mm -hmm. and I, I sang a song and then we went to liars right. club Random which was liars really club. good it is yeah so we had a action-packed evening which was lovely yeah now we're going to bed we got so great tired. turkey in the morning mm -hmm. all the turkey you could carry the turkey great turkey yeah so we're going to bed for now we'll see you tomorrow see you then. from grand turk good night bye <laughs>